welcome to Bedtime Stories with OPL. I'm Miss Beth. Go grab your favorite stuffy, get comfy, and let's hear a story. This story is called Making the Best of It. What a dreary day this is, said the cow to the hen, as they stood at the barn window and watched the falling rain cover every nook and corner of the farmyard. Yes, indeed, said the hen. I would almost be willing to be made into a chicken pie on such a day. She had scarcely stopped talking when the pig said, Oh, I'm dreadfully hungry and so thirsty. In fact, the animals in the barn were very much inclined to be cross and discontented. Since the farmer's boy fed them early in the morning, they had been given nothing to eat or drink. And as hour after hour went by, the cold winter wind howled around the barn. It's no wonder they felt deserted. The duck, however, appeared quite happy, as usual. And that's saying a great deal, for a jollier, better-natured old fellow than he had never graced a farmyard. Sunshine, rain, or snow were all the same to him, and he quacked quite as brightly and stormy as fair weather. Well, said the duck, laughing heartily, as his bright eyes glanced about the barn, you all seem to be having a fit of the dumps. Nobody answered the duck, but a faint cluck or two came from the hen, who immediately put her head back under her wing, as if ashamed of having spoken at all. This was quite too much for the duck, who, standing first on one orange foot and then the other, turning his head from side to side. Well, we are a lively set. Anyone would think to look in here that we were surrounded by a band of hungry foxes. Just then a daring mouse crept down from his perch and strutting pompously over to the duck, created quite a stir among the animals by saying, we're all lively enough when our bellies are full, but when we're starving, the wonder is that we can hold our head up at all. If I ever see that farmer's boy again, I'll nibble on his foot. You won't see him until he feeds us, said the duck. And then I guess you'll eat what he brings. Oh no, moaned the pig, don't mention food. I'm so hungry. Madam, remarked the duck, bowing politely, your trouble is my own. That is, I'm hungry. But we might be worse off. We might be on our way to market in a box. Then too, suppose we hadn't had enough to eat today. At least we have room enough to stretch our legs. Why, that is a fact, answered the hen and all the animals stretched their legs, preening their feathers, looking a trifle more animated. Now then, went on the duck, suppose we have a little music to cheer us and help us pass the hours until bedtime. We will all cluck and moo and oink and quack and squeak and sing a merry song. Will you be kind enough to start a lively tune, Mrs. Hen? The hen shook herself proudly, tossed her head back, and began, cluck, 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 cluck. And in less than two minutes, everyone in the barn had joined her. Now the cow and the duck and the pig and the mouse joined in the grand chorus, and their happy voices filled the barn. Each animal did their best to sing louder than the rest. Higher and higher, stronger and stronger rose the chorus. Louder and louder quacked the duck and shriller and shriller squeaked the pig. They were so happy that they quite forgot their hunger until the door of the barn burst open and in came the children carrying a dish full of steaming food. Don't stop your music, Mr. Duck, said the little girl, who was so snugly bundled up that you could scarcely see her dear little face. You see, we were so lonesome that we didn't know what to do. But when we heard all you folks singing out here in your house, we laughed and laughed until we pretty near cried. Then we went to tell Jack about you. He was lonesome too. Poor Jack sick with a sore throat. And he said, why those poor animals, they haven't been fed since morning. Quack, 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 said the duck. This comes of making the best of things. Quack, quack, quack. And no one asked him to stop his singing. I hope you enjoyed our story tonight. We have lots of great stories just like it at the library. So come see where your imagination can take you. Sweet dreams.